Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Ed Hoffman. I hope you guys enjoy what we're putting together right here. We're going to be competing in the 2012 AUSVI RoboBuds competition in June down in Virginia Beach. We're working with the Xbox Connect, and right now I'm configuring the, the depth sensor information so that we can read how far away an object is in the water. Hopefully we're looking to take first place. Hi, my name is Travis Critchman. I'm the project manager. I think it's going to be a lot of fun seeing the other teams and seeing what they came up with for this. I'm Greg Charias and I'm a naval engineering major. It sounds like it's going to be pretty challenging based on all the things you have to do. Hi, I'm Sean Moore and I'm working on the holes and the plug capture task. It's a rigorous project with a short deadline that we just need to keep on top of. Hi, my name is Richard Damsky and I'm working on the channel. Last year's group, they did really well. I think they came in fifth, and I think that we're going to do better this year. Hi, I'm Marie Darwin Flores. My role in this project is the research engineer. I really think that the testing tank is very unique. Basically, the boat has to navigate a red and green buoy channel 100% autonomously. Hi, I'm Mike Caruso, and I'm in charge of the nav systems. Imagine in the world where you could just you could have a boat, you could just tell it where to go, and you wouldn't have to do no human input for any controls. This is one of the first times I've ever been involved with like a large multidisciplinary project like this. Hi, my name is Dan Bellella. I'm the head computer engineer for the team. You get to meet people that you don't normally get to hang out with because you don't take the same classes together. When I'm working with the comp sci students, I'm like, oh, we should do this, this, and this logically. And he goes, well, that's great, but this is how we have to think about it to get it to work with a computer. We're working with vision control systems now, but that stuff's going to enhance. You're going to be able to pinpoint not just the color and like the shape and everything, but that that's a buoy, what model. The whole artificial intelligence realm, the whole vision uh, realm. Maybe one day the world will be like iRobot, the movie, where we have robot helpers and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a, a step forward.